Right, and we're in the lovely Eastern Wall Gardens uh, near Grantham in Lincolnshire. Beautiful sunny day as you can see. Um, I'm here with Stephen Marsland who's the head gardener here. Uh, Stephen's quite a, an expert on fruit. They've got a lovely uh, newly planted orchard here I think Stephen, yeah. haven't you? Across the river, um, across the estate from here, well worth visiting. Um, and Stephen it's time to, to start pruning espalier and uh, wall trained trees. Um, uh, Stephen's going to take us through the, the sort of steps that are needed to do that. Now, take it away Stephen. What do, where do you start? You start at the beginning of a row. Uh huh. Arm. Uh huh. So you've got an arm going along the wire here. Yep. In the wall. And at the base of this long uh, lateral, uh -huh. there'll be a cluster of leaves at the bottom. Ah, uh, yes. Can you all see that? This little cluster of leaves right down the end there. And then you count from above those one, two, three. And snip then sniff. Right. And you just work your way along the branch. Work your way along. Cluster of leaves. And snip. Right. And so you go. Now this is a pear tree, Stephen. Would it be the same for apples? Would you apples, do the same yeah, thing? apples grow like this exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose we should have said more about what an espalier is. So you've got your main stem growing up the corner of the wall there between the yeah. two. It's unusual that we've grown it in the corner. So yes, off, yes. Um, Normally they'd be flat out against yeah. the wall. Yeah, but it's a really real space saving way of, of growing fruit. It is, yeah. Yeah. And you've got your pears forming there very nicely. Yeah. And why, I mean, why do the pruning? I guess all this, you just don't need this Do you need growth? to restrict the growth? Otherwise it will just go mad. Right. Um, you need to be able, the pears need to be able to see the light so they can grow and, right. and ripen off help with ripening the year. yeah yeah and i suppose being in this sort of enclosed with the protection of the walls it keeps it that much warmer and yeah. the fruit ripens perhaps more quickly than it would on an ordinary tree well no, it's, it's oh, about, the same. about the it's same about the same yeah. right yeah but um, and would you do anything else once you've done your pruning do you feed or, or water them particularly or will they just no no just quite happy to it yeah yeah and no winter pruning needed, I suppose, you've done? Winter pruning, yeah. You do? When you've got your... This is a spur. Uh-huh. So that's what I'll be... Oh, you sort of fruiting branch here. That's what I'm reducing the size of. Yeah. And then in the winter, if needs be, you can thin these out a little bit. If they right. get congested. OK. Um, and if you've got too many, you know, they're nicely spaced. Yeah. But if you've got too many, so towards the end here we've got two right. clustered in so we'll thin some of those out yeah yeah oh it's it's, it's not too complicated then I think no, most most yeah, gardeners nice could simple. get the hang of it yeah oh that's great thanks very much for explaining that for us it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's made it a lot easier i'm going to go home and do mine now